I'm Andy Sparnan and I've been fishing Australia's coasts for 30 years. This week we head off to Ballina in northern New South Wales to chase one of the most elusive fish in the sea, the Jewfish or the mighty Mulloway. Before hitting the highway, it was a quick pit stop to see my mate Dougie to stock up on some quality gear. Then I hit the highway for the hour and a half drive to the township of Ballina in northern New South Wales. Mulloway or Jewfish are distributed from southern Queensland right around the south to central Western Australia. But even then, fishermen will spend days, months, and years trying to catch one of these elusive trophy fish. And Rick and I just had two days. With rods and reels ready and the sun disappearing over the horizon, I headed straight for the bait grounds. So the next step to catching Mulloway, of course, is getting live bait. And I'm at one of the local bridges that one of the local Jew guns put me onto. And I'm just simply using a jig like this. I'm gonna throw it over the side, see if we can get a few yakkers. of the yakka that you're looking for have to be the best part of uh, maybe eight inches and with a few lively baits in the esky it was time to chase those big dew And with the line set, it was a matter of waiting and hoping that all our homework pays off. It wasn't long before a local showed us why knowledge is power, as he lands the Jew that Fisho spend most of their lives chasing. And it looked like tonight was going to be no different for my mate Rick and I. Then there was that familiar sound. And just at that point, our main source of lighting malfunctions, which leaves us in an epic battle in almost complete darkness. I think it's a big dew. Bring it in, Andy. I can't, mate. I can't stop it. I can't stop it. This is a big fish. Have a look at that for a mighty Jew fish. Absolute cracker. One of the uh, most prized fish. Australian waters. She's a beauty. The next night and Rick's last chance to land that elusive Jew. We bared the cool conditions in hope we'd get lucky twice. Down to our last couple of liveys, the clock was ticking. 
then Rick's rod bends as line leaves his reel. Getting my new dagger real good work out here. Chris and my new rod. Yeah, brand new rod. Brett's making new rod and reel. All that hope would lead us to this special moment. So all this research we've done, came all the way from the Gold Coast to come here. It's all worth it. This is what it's all about. Give him a kiss, let him go. Easy, Ballina Jews. Beautiful specimen. Well, a man once said, I have a dream, and that's exactly what Rick and I had well before coming to Ballada to chase Jewfish and uh, as you witnessed well it was absolutely exactly what we dreamt of and caught two big Jew and you couldn't have asked for better now I wouldn't have been able to do it without the help of the local fishers as well so if you want to learn more tips and tricks and see some more exciting fishing like you saw in this show make sure you subscribe to the Coast Fish TV page on YouTube and also check out Coast Fish TV on Facebook and keep up to date with all those videos coming through catching some awesome fish and especially telling you how to catch them we'll have plenty more coming in the near future so I hope you enjoyed the show this has been Coast Fish see you later I'm not sure how big it is but it must be My arms are still worn out. Oh. So I'm down at one of the local Ballina bridges and uh, I'm simply just using a jig. And that's it. So I'm going to dump it over the side. Uh, uh. Oh, look, <laughs>